Hey everyone, it's Jang here with a look at some new LEGO City sets that were revealed in semi-official form. Today I found out about these from Brickset at Brickset.com, who in turn found out about them from Brickfans with, uh, excuse me, Bricksfans with a Z, dot com, who in turn found them from a Swiss uh, online toy shop called Mein Spielzug, I think it is dot ch forgive me if i pronounced that incorrectly it didn't even really try there but regardless here they are i'm just going to go through them in completely casual fashion not even thinking of it from a review perspective just telling you what i think about what i see in front of me so this first one here is a simple one you see it's four plus so it's what would previously have been considered a junior's set it's called the police dog unit and it's just very basic you know you see everything that's here. Uh, that should be a printed piece right there. So that's one of the new exclusive printed pieces for the city line for 2020. I'm assuming that given that it's a junior set, it will also have a print for that diamond tile, which is a two by two. So that's pretty cool. But you know, it's just a very basic set. So let us move on. And like I said, I'm just doing this super casually. I'm recording this live and everything, so there will be mistakes and quirks and glitches and whatever. It's all good. Nice to see another uh, speed uh, sign. I, I personally like those. Uh, this set is called Highway Arrest. Notice we have Duke Detain here and another named character, Vito. So these are coming from the universe established by the Lego City Adventures uh, uh, TV series that's playing on... I believe it's Cartoon Network. It's like a, a mini series, which is actually pretty good. It's it's good fun. It's uh, not all the things in the background and everything are are made of Lego. It doesn't have a whole lot of studs, but it's it's a fun little series for younger kids, and actually has some kind of grown up humor along the way. Uh, I I find it entertaining. Another fairly basic set, and look at this. It's almost juniors, right? Instead of being four plus, this one's five plus. So again, targeting the younger age range the really really young age range that's a nice uh nice little small basic police car i think for young kids to have to see something as you know super powerful and really fast these look like they would be able to go against each other and that uh, bad guy sports car definitely harkens back to a ferrari like bad guy sports car from a previous set or two from this series uh, let me just uh, move on. Yeah, it's Highway Arrest. The next one is called Police Helicopter Chase. That helicopter again, really? <laughs> That's the first thing that I thought when I saw this. That helicopter again. I am... I, I have grown tired of this canopy piece. Maybe... Maybe, maybe that's an OK Boomer kind of thing. But I've grown tired of this. I want to see that deprecated i want to see that phased out it's been around for years and years and years now and this just looks so much like stuff that they've done before not that that's the worst thing in the world because you know a lot of the kids who this would be targeted to in the five plus age range weren't even alive when they started using this piece so a lot of kids may not have even seen that part whatsoever uh let's talk about some new parts though that's a new motorcycle notice it's not the same basic Un, you know, no fairing uh, touring motorcycle that we've had recently. This one is updated a bit. You've got the separate handlebar piece there. And yeah, the more customizability you have on small things, I think the better. This is what I'm personally most excited about out of everything that we're going to see in all of these pictures here. That is a magnet. Magnet. It has Technic pin holes on the sides has four studs on the top, two on either side, and looks like a boop, deep, deep, boop, that would be a Technic pinhole on the top. Yeah, right there, right there. I'm trying to figure out what's in there. Yeah, it's the ball piece with the Technic pin. Uh, that excites me not because of this use right here, but because it's a magnet, and that is going to be able to be used for so many things. I hope that Lego overuses that part and the piece that's beneath that is the, the counterpart to it because magnets are great for hands-on active play. Imagine using that for a junkyard. Imagine using that for transferring cargo around between 
cars and trucks and loading docks and factories and trains and boats and everything that that can be used for so many things for construction as well so i'm looking forward to seeing that used a whole lot once again another five plus set and you know the builds are relatively simple because of that sam grizzled i actually like sam grizzled and then snake rattler is a new character hey is that could that be no i was i was thinking could that end up being my new sig fig uh, torso it kind of looks like my old one but no there are going to be stripes in there you can just start to see it here you know the the jacket will be open and you'll see stripes underneath because he's a bad guy so of course he has stripes <laughs> on as always all right uh, let's move on to the next one if i didn't mention it that's called police helicopter chase now, here's another one with a helicopter but this is very different this is police helicopter transport clearly i i don't want to use the term dumbed down but reduced in complexity relative to other police transport types of sets that we've gotten in quite a number of years yet still significantly more complex than sets like this from when i was a kid sets that i still think look really really cool so this is way more complex just you know even the five plus stuff is more complex these days than lego used to be progress in some kind of way but it's going to be fairly expensive the big deal here is this helicopter which actually flies look at this a new canopy piece for helicopters i hope that will work with parts other than this one piece specialized helicopter frame that will be used with the handle you see the handle is on is just over the the forward section of the trailer there and the, it uses a a ripcord this will actually fly i hope that the canopy piece can be used on its own without that you know isn't specifically designed only to work with this and i hope this helicopter actually is able to fly up like if you give a good pull on that ripcord i want to see that go up at least a few feet in the air before the thing starts to come down and i hope it doesn't tumble through the air this could be a very very good thing because it's fun to make your toy people fly i think it always has been and always will be toy companies often get it wrong and often do things that don't work well i hope this works well to some degree to some degree I don't like this ATV with those tiny little wheels. They look like they're temporary or something. That just doesn't work. I think they shouldn't have done that. I think that's just a bad idea. Just just don't do that. Just put the same basic ones on if, if you have to. I don't know. And then we've gotten this same motorcycle a bunch of times. The truck here looks a little bit basic on the front to me. I feel like it might look a little bit better in person, but eh. It's a 5 plus set. You know, you can't expect too much i personally am not very impressed impressed by this but we'll see how it how it actually works out and if it's worth its eventual price we don't have prices in any currency that i'm familiar with as yet so i can't really comment on that but i'm going to move on to the next one it's called monster truck robbery this is another one that uses the uh the, the magnet set there i don't like how thick that magnet piece is the the gray piece you can see it has the Technic pinhole on the on the top of it, uh, but I don't know. It, it might work out okay. This monster truck, too bad it doesn't have working suspension. I'm assuming it does not have working suspension right there. It looks like it does not have working suspension. But I think if you modify this a little bit, you could get it to have a suggestion of suspension where it would at least droop the wheels down. Anyway, that's not that big of a deal. It says a bank. It's just a basic thing again what is that on a 8 by 16 plate you know so one of their smaller buildings and then a police van over here <laughs> the uh the police logo is kind of funny kind of going for that 80s maybe 90s kind of thing here you know because they're 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 trying to be funny about it they're trying to be extreme and you know kind of lean into the hollywood aspect of of the silliness of of make pretend cop stuff with this whole lego city adventures based theme tom bennett and big betty here but i bet you she's just regular size as a minifig yeah it's another set that is kind of basic for five 
you know, kids five and up. Seems like this entire city series is for rather young kids. It's a younger Lego cities, Lego city series than perhaps we've ever had. Maybe at least going back to the dark days of what was it? The late nineties, early 2000s, at least the late, no, late nineties, early. Yeah. Early 2000s, thousands, I think were, were the worst, but this is nothing like that. It's way better. At least it's using regular figures. There are a bunch of pieces that you actually have to put together here. So this, this may, may actually be okay. Uh, and now I am, I am stuck. I can't, oh, oh, move, move. Hey, yep. Oh, oh, it's not giving me. See, I told you there would be, I told you there would be glitches. I'm going to have to come out of full screen mode and then go back into it. There you go. Yeah, I'm just using the default app anyway. Okay. Big one. Police station. Six plus. Wow. Six plus. So again, simplified with the build. A lot of tall pieces used here. But, hmm. Uh, I, I, even though it's simplified, I wouldn't be surprised if this cost upwards of 100 bucks. I think this has uh, around 750 pieces, something like that. I, I for, forget the the exact number, and it's in a completely different window right now. I don't want to risk ruining everything, but I, I think this will probably be pretty overpriced. As for what, what all we get here, I mean, three stories there. You got the catwalk above the suggestion of a garage. You know, this is going to be very, very thin right here. There's not a lot of depth to this. I mean, this is probably four studs deep, all of the... All these main sections here and then it goes all the way up to is it six or is it even more than that maybe even eight right here for the jail section the jail section can be blown apart you can suggest blowing it apart here and there's a light brick that goes in there you know that oh no the light brick goes over here so you know that's gonna bump up the price and then you've got one of the light and sound bricks now those are very good and let's use on top of the police suv here which will be uh kind of like a canine unit i'm assuming is what that'll how that'll be used. And then you have a well-balanced bad guy vehicle. So both of these, you can imagine going off-road. You can just have these chasing each other all around the place. And the thing that I like most here, by far, out of everything that I see, is Daisy Kaboom's new color uh, set up for her hair with the black and the little bit of orange tinges towards the tips. A little bit of orange highlighting there. Just, you know, I like different types of hair and everything got wheeler uh chief wheeler here and then duke detain as well and some others who are not named but may actually be named in the show i just don't remember i the more i look at that police logo the less i like it i understand what it's going for but i personally don't like it it feels like it will not be timeless you know a lot of the lego city stuff that has logos that has writing has been usable across multiple generations so this is just me as a adult fan you know thinking right that's all. That's actually a pretty cool looking little quadcopter though. I've seen a lot of quadcopters or drone type things that I don't like from Lego, but this, this is nice. It's compact. It's probably a little bit larger than it appears here, but I think the build of it is pretty good. I'm, I'm torn about the inclusion of the light uh, yellow color in the color scheme for police this time around. I think it works okay in some cases not so great in others like there with the running boards doesn't look so great to me personally and why have i lost that see this worked before over here clicking and nothing's happening this, this worked when i tested it and then next thing you know it stops working there you go see i got it back so we also got some fire things this is called forest fire uh, five plus set uh yeah it just has a little buggy with the single little tile shooter that we got before it has clemens <laughs> he's actually kind of a, a funny character that's a, i don't know if people will really care that much almost looks like there's a gradient in that print on his torso here but it doesn't appear here so hopefully they don't have that uh, that was kind of the, the early 2000s style to have a, a basic gradient and i think they don't need to do that i think it's not there though that is a very sad looking tree stump very sad looking tree stump even as a bush it's very sad looking but a very cool owl nice printing on that i like owls i really like owls they're just fascinating creatures uh most i'm gonna lose my, my arrow again but that's okay 
mostly because they're birds and yet they move very slowly. Typically birds are just frantic, frantic. you know, they, they move at a different speed than us. So it's difficult to, to kind of uh, understand them, you know? But uh, owls are just so slow, they're, they're more human-like. And that's a pretty nice one that they did there. So here is the fire version of a flying helicopter. I don't know if those are going to be stickers. I'm assuming those are going to be stickers on the sides for decorating these. That as well. But it could just be a print, given that this is a specialized piece. One big specialized piece. Uh, I'm assuming that with the fire helicopter, uh, this is called fire rescue helicopter, the set. Uh, I'm assuming the idea here will be to try to fly it in the air and get it to land on top of the fire, thus knocking the fire over and putting it out. Yeah, that, that could be okay. Fire ATV is fine. The light yellow, I think, does definitely work for fire stuff. And that guy looks pretty cool. I like his welding helmet. The fact that this fits on to it fits on like a visor and can actually be brought up. That's one thing that I didn't like about the otherwise awesome welding helmet mold that they go originally did some years back and has used since uh, it's just you know the fact that you couldn't flip it up this can be flipped up very good i like that five plus set fire rescue helicopter basic again i kind of tapping into the kid in me i would like to be able to use this to to blow the flames out you know if that handle is short enough and there's a way to pull the, the cord just a little bit and if it has a ratcheting mechanism in there it would be great if you could get this down close to the fire and then blow the flames out you know i don't know we'll, we'll see this comes with uh freya mcleod who's the police sorry fire chief and see i just sometimes i have the arrow and sometimes i don't hmm <laughs> you win some you lose some is the, oh but that's it haha -ha. is there one over here nope there's not one over here oh well Nope. Nope. Okay. There we go. So, th so that's that. Those are the sets. Uh, there will be certainly many more sets to be revealed, but I just wanted to give my thoughts on these just completely casual. And uh, yeah, I'm not very impressed because this stuff just isn't made for me. It's not designed for me, which is perfectly fine. I think some of these will be perfectly fine for the target ages. We'll have to see what the prices will be, though. Uh, what do you think about the idea? I know that the answer is going to be very skewed on this. I'm fully aware of that, but I'm, as, I'm asking regardless. What do you think about the idea of having this entire theme targeted towards four to six year old kids and up? You know, just getting it, getting the, the builds down much simpler. I personally don't like it. And I, I, that's completely, completely selfish of me to say that, you know, clearly, I mean, Lego, Lego, they are not a dumb company. They have a lot of smart people and they track everything these days. Everything. They know who their customers are. They know the age ranges of kids that are buying or having stuff bought for them uh, from, you know, of Lego parts. I completely messed up that sentence, but you know what I'm talking about. So I trust that they know what they're, that they're, they know what they're doing and, uh, I don't like it regardless <laughs> just completely completely uh selfishly because i like the slightly older skewed stuff which still appeals to me as an adult and still kind of ties into my nostalgia uh from you know of being a kid and when i liked lego stuff from back then let me know what you think about these while comments are still available to be used and i will talk to you again soon this is serious